All right. Oh, you hear the sweet sounds of Mr. Matt Proctor. Welcome to POS Uncensored for February 9th, Thursday, 2023. It is time to talk a little bit about hot sauce. Mr. Matt Proctor, I hope things are spicy there on the other side of Indianapolis. How are things in this uh, windy wonder wonderland of 60 degree weather here in Indiana? Great, buddy. I mean, it's nice that the weather's finally turning around, but woo. Yeah. 50, 60 mile an hour wind gust. <laughs> blowing even my big old butt around today. It is impressive. I uh, was out, you know, I work from home here, was out for a meeting this morning early, drove back. It's recycling day in my neighborhood and the recycling bins were just half of them were turned over and it looked like it just like exploded in my neighborhood. I was like, OK, yeah. that, that's how it works when it's windy. So I am so glad several of you are watching live. We'll be taking questions. But today we wanted to highlight, we've talked about it for the last uh, probably four weeks, I think three weeks ago, we announced, hey, no longer is it just one station up front for no upfront or no upfront fees, but it's three stations, $69.99 a month, but no upfront fees, no shipping, no anything for those stations. Then you can add other things. But we thought, let's, you know, we need to do a whole overview of hot sauce. So I'm going to start yeah. with the first question for Matt. What is hot sauce and what is hot sauce the best at? That's the first question. Well, I mean, first off, it's really good on eggs, you know, or on sandwiches, <laughs> things like that. But, but it also, yeah, as a point of sale system, it's phenomenal. So let's dive deeper into hot sauce today and, and really the, the best verticals for it and really what it's known for. So hot sauce is built for bars, restaurants, nightclubs, full service restaurants. Right? That's, that's right in his wheelhouse. It's phenomenal. Whether they need two stations or five, they need back office. Printers, KDS screens, things like that, um, coursing capabilities, bar tabs, that really is, is what this system is built for. Um, and that's why the hardware is the way it is. This is not an iPad system. It's not a, a tablet system or anything cloud-based. It's a traditional software, large 15-inch touchscreen monitors meant to take a beating in that bar environment. Um, so where we've been selling hot sauce for many, many years is right there to that full service restaurant. Oh, pizza. How am I forgetting pizza? They do pizza phenomenally well. Left half, right half ordering, caller IDs, delivery routing, uh, driver tracking. We've sold a lot to catering companies throughout the years because of their future order capabilities. So they have that as well. Um, but really, anytime you have that full service environment, yes, they can do quick service as well, but they don't have sign on the screen. Okay, so if you guys have a merchant that's using Clover and they're flipping that screen around all the time to have everyone do it, that's where hot sauce really is not going to be a right fit for just that very specific environment. But if that's not needed, 100% it does quick service extremely well and very fast. Um, and there is a customer facing display where it can show them the order. There's just no sign on the screen. So let me ha make sure all the partners know this is what you do. You go to mypapertech.com. You click on that front thing. Spice it up right now. As it's right on the front page. That's the hot sauce. Get up to three stations at no upfront cost. And then you're going to see our hot sauce promotion details. It's pretty simple. Zero upfront, no shipping, no station cost. It's just $69.99 per station of software. Uh, I see Kelly ask that question. Well, you know, Kelly, yes, it's it's just simply $69.99 per station. It's a great, great deal. You get the whole station. So let's ask that. I know this. I'll try to preempt some of the questions of some of the people who are here. Uh, Matt, yeah. what are what is a station? Can you define a station for us before we go further, since that's a get key part of our promotion? Absolutely. And so really what the station is, is a bundle. And we put that all together for you. So it's the full 15 inch Windows touchscreen, as well as the receipt printer, um, the credit card EMV reader and a cash drawer. Okay, so that's a complete bundle. Now, obviously, if it's a bar and they they need maybe three stations, but they want one cash drawer, that's fine. We, you know, cash drawers we can include in the bundles or omit if they don't need that. So we would just need to know they want three stations, how many cash drawers they need, because those all come in that bundle. Okay? There is a swiper on the side of the terminal that is not for credit cards. That is for either manager cards that your merchants are going to receive for their managers for security or for gift cards if they want to add gift cards in the future. That's what the swipe on the side. It's important. They have to have an EMV reader and it is semi-integrated plugged directly into that terminal. So when you hit credit card, boom, it shoots right down there. Okay. And the best part, it can be programmed for dual pricing, edge pricing, cash discount, whatever you want to call it. 100%, it's already uh, 
working in the programming with hot sauce. We've been doing it for many, many years. Um, everything goes through EPX and it can do the edge pricing, which is more of a win-win for you guys to have that point of sale already have that programmed in. All right. So let's talk about reliability. How reliable is the system? Let's talk about support for the system and uh, how long have they been around? What's uh, how what, is this hot sauce? Just, you know, a, is it a new one, you know, that since hot wings are popular or how long is hot sauce? Sauce been around. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hot wings are always going to be popular, buddy. So, no, great question. This is not a new company. They've been around 25 plus years. Um, for any of you who've ever run into Micros, Aloha, Digital Dining, Future, these traditional software systems, that's exactly what hot sauce is. Uh, it's almost like Micros and Aloha had a baby, and then boop, here comes hot sauce. All right. So very user friendly and very reliable from that standpoint because it's a software. That means it's not cloud-based. They can't jump in from the beach and add a button to the system. Okay, There's a way to see remote reports, but they need to be there on site the way it's always been for the last 35, 40 years of point of sale systems. Okay, But there's a reliability factor to that. If their internet goes down, they can run true offline transactions. Cloud systems cannot do that no matter what they tell you. So I can switch to offline mode and I can still not only print to the kitchen, all the stations talk to each other, I can actually still take credit cards. The only thing it will not do and will never do if there's no internet is pre-off that card. So if you have a merchant that barely ever has any credit cards declined, that's a huge feature. Knowing that, okay, our internet might go down sometimes, we wanna be able to switch that off, still take cards. And then when that's back up and running, we push through the cards and then even though people are gone, Okay, but since it can't pre-auth, if one of those cards declined, those people are already gone, they're out that money. So we have some very, very, very busy bars in college towns that all love hot sauce to death. Some of them don't ever want to switch to offline because they have too many cards declined from the college kid. And that's fine. They're used to it. Okay, so that's why they've got the ATM in the corner. So not only do you have um, the durability of the hardware that I spoke about earlier, You've got the software, which is reliable. It's not going through the cloud. It's not hacked. It's its own dedicated router, its own system, okay, its own network. The support is 24-7. And then there's a warranty on the hardware for life. I can't stress that enough. Warranty on the hardware for life. That's part of our agreement directly through the manufacturer. Doesn't matter if it's seven years or 10 years down the road. If a screen goes down, printer goes down, whatever it might be, we're drop shipping a new one out. Okay? And that's very important. Software upgrades are also included. For those of you who know point of sale, or if you worked with the other software systems like Micros and Loa, you'll know that every year, sometimes every two years, they charge $2,500 to $5,000 for software upgrades. The merchant has to pay that or they shut their POS down. Hot Sauce includes all that in that $69.99. Software upgrades are always included. Warranties included in that. Implementation, training, programming, all of that is included in our bundle and that placement program for $69.99. Okay, so that's very important. And actually, speaking of that, Nate, I want to touch on the placement program right now because there's still some confusion with agents. This is a placement program only. That's it. That's how it's going to be from here on out with hot sauce. There's no purchasing. The merchant does not own this hardware. They will never purchase it. So think of Harbor Touch. For those of you who know Harbor Touch and their business model, it is always a placement. If they have it for 12 years, they close down or they move on or they sell the business, the hot sauce, the hardware needs to be returned to hot sauce and the manufacturer. So I just want everyone to, to be aware that this is not a purchase. There's no way for them to purchase. It's only placement. So let's talk, uh, we're going to add, we'll, we'll, I'll talk, I'm, I'm going to take some of the questions here uh, that are coming in. Then I have uh, lots of more questions I have that you may have, but we'll uh, take um, how easy, we'll bring Justin up here. He asks, how easy is it to change menu items, online ordering, pricing, add key, kitchen printers? So let's go with this general question. Obviously, yeah. we're doing the three upfront stations, but there's other things they may want. How, how, do, how does that work in the, with the placement if they need three? Uh, two kitchen printers or they want to go KDS or they want to uh, jump in there and do online ordering or they want table side, you know, and go, jump up from just the, uh, what's it, Ingenicos that are our standard EMV readers to the uh, A920s right. that will hopefully be available. What what? Let's just talk about process of what it looks like to add on things to the station Absolutely. that we're offering. 
Absolutely. So, so yes, all those are add-ons. Kitchen printers are four hundred dollars. Um, we they cannot use existing printers, even if they've got five of them sitting there from previous POS systems, because per our agreement and the warranty, that kitchen printer is proprietary, has to go directly through hot sauce. So those are four hundred dollars. Other add-ons like online ordering, there is a small upfront of one hundred and fifty dollars, and then it's a monthly. It's ninety nine a month for the online order. And they have other add ons like that gift cards, loyalty, where we're looking at twenty five dollars a month for certain things. Once you guys connect with my team and you submit a lead, just like I know Justin did that day, when you submit a lead that comes directly to me, I assign that to one of the POS specialists. They reach out to you directly. That's when they're going to talk numbers with you. Obviously, they want to schedule a demo, make sure the merchant loves it. And then we're going to work with you directly on pricing. Not with the merchant. We're not going to talk to the merchant about pricing because that's all going to be adjusted based on what they might want to add. Okay. But as far as the stations, 100% zero up front, not paying for shipping. It's only the add ons So we've been selling a lot of these uh, lately with the PayProtect promo. And a lot of times there's a little up front. Maybe it's $400 for kitchen printer. I had one the other day that was two kitchen printers plus they wanted to add some remote thing. The upfront was still only 800 and change. So, I mean, it's still a heck of a deal for three full POSs. We just have to add on any of the peripherals. And we're just trying to make it really simple and easy for you, uh, Justin. I, I will, let's, I'm going to come, I'm going to scroll down to a couple other questions here. Let's go with uh, Gilbert's question. What about pay at the table? I briefly talked about it a little bit. Uh, can you give us the current update at pay at the table for hot sauce with EPX? Uh. We're close, guys. We're close. Uh, you know, that that's the best I can say right now. We have been working on a beta test, um, and, well, actively beta testing the PAX A920s with hot sauce through EPX Direct. Okay, I'm going to make that clear, through EPX Direct. Hot sauce has already been using A920s, but it's not in our realm. It's a thesis. Okay, so we have to have them work through EPX Direct through our platform. And that's been the hurdle that we've been trying to overcome. So I don't want anyone to get confused and look at their website and say, well, they already got A920s everywhere. And I want three of them. It doesn't work like that. Right now, we have two active merchants that this week were beta testing the A920s with access points to make sure it works. They can actually ring up a table, it prints in the kitchen, and everything is fine. Once we had that confirmed, I'm hoping in the next 30 days with more testing to make sure it works, we will then have these handhelds available to be able to take an order and payment at the table because it does have the printer, but we're not released yet. They're not on our paperwork because we don't want to confuse people. I can tell you when those are available, the monthly is actually lower. It's only $39 a month for a 920s, but they have to have an access point. There's a lot of wiring involved. That's what we discuss on the demo is the networking. If their network is not in place, no handheld will work at all, whether it's toast, clove, or whatever. So that's a big discussion we have to have with your merchant to make sure uh, we're setting them up for success. Good question. That's a great question. And um, I'm going to bring up, like, Kelly, I'll answer this question for you. Lead goes to you, not sent to POS. No, it, goes, it still goes to poslead.com. It's pay protect, POS Pros and PayProtect working together. It's the same process of every other POS uh, product that we do. Um, I don't, so I want to make sure that's clear. And, um, and then how easy are menu changes? That was a question that Justin asked earlier that I, he brought back up that we missed. How easy to change menus? And I'll, ask, I'll add this in for us. This kind of goes together. Can we set up a back office station, the remote desktop or offsite menu management? If so, is there a cost to be able to have, since it is a, not a cloud-based system like some of our other systems, but a software-based yeah. system, how does that work with that being able to set a back office? No, that's a great question. And, and Hot Sauce actually has two different options for that. They do have a back office file server. All right? and, and that's recommended a lot of times by myself and my team, especially if they're used to it with their old system or they have that office area, they want that dedicated file server managers to go in, print off reports on full eight and a half by 11 you know, printers, as well as add and change buttons. The back office file server is $495. Okay? They can purchase it one time. Um, they do have it as a monthly, but I think it's way too high. It's either 41 a month or uh, $495. It's easier just to purchase as just a computer. They use their own monitor to it, plug it in. That's the brain of the POS. Now, for our smaller merchants that only need one to three stations, or maybe they don't have room for an extra office area, then one of the main terminals will be the brain of the POS. 
So what my team has, their demos, for all of you who have seen a demo, that's our main station. I can easily jump into my back office in, in 50, 30 seconds, I don't know why I said 50, 30 seconds, jump in and easily add a button, do a promo for the day, add a new special, uh, delete a button, 86 something, all from an actual station. So they have the option. Like I said, most of our small merchants, we make one of the main stations the brain, and we explain that to them in the demo. But 100%, if they want a back office file server, they can. It does have to be on the same IP address. This is not a file server that would go in their house for when they're sitting at home. It has to be on the same IP address and connected with the other stations in the uh, the merchant's business. All right. So let's uh, obviously we'll keep watching for questions here as you're chatting. Um, if you're watching this as a recording afterwards, or if you're even you could be watching this at the same time, you just rewound and you're catching up. Uh, we will answer questions. You put them in. You can always email partners at papertech.com uh, and we will help get that facilitated with the POS pros team. Um, you can email uh, the POS pros at uh, POS pros at payments Am I right? POS sale. Right? Sales, POS sorry. sales at payments when I don't have the writing in front of me, you gotta mess that up. Ah, okay. But, oh, one other thing that they asked yep. about the back office. There's you don't need a license for the back office, guys. It's it's just you're just paying for it. You're paying at four ninety five, but but they don't charge a license, which is good, like we do for the stations. So think of a license as where I'm ringing someone up. If I'm ringing someone up at a station, then I have to have an active license. You don't for a back office. Perfect. All right. So let's look over at mypapertech.com again, see some of the things and let's highlight some things that you can go. These are flyers. A lot of them were redone this past summer. You can see this last one was redone just this January 25th with our promo, but let's talk specifically fast bar. And uh, as I bring up that, take your bar to the next level. Uh, what are the things you mentioned earlier? It's great for nightclubs. It's great for bars. What are some of these features that are make, and set hot sauce apart from others when it comes to bars, Mr. Proctor. This, yeah, this, this is huge. And, and more and more POSs are trying to, to duplicate this and trying to keep up with systems like hot sauce. So fast bar is a game changer for any bar environment. Like I mentioned earlier, we're, we're in a lot of college bar towns with hot sauce. Um, and the fast bar is the whole reason that we're there. And that is the speed and how it's, it stays on one screen all the time. I can have my payment screen right there. I have my bar tabs right there where I can go in and out and in and out. And every single time, it's not taking me somewhere else. It's never taking me to a different screen. So our bartenders love it. Our managers love it. They want to clock in and boom, be able to take them right to fast bar. They're not limited or stuck there, but there's a reason why almost every major nightclub in the greater Atlanta area has hot sauce because some of these clubs have 20 to 25 POS systems in them and they do a quarter million dollars on the weekend. They have to have speed. That's actually the reason why hot sauce originally built it was for those nightclubs. Now, obviously if they don't need it, it can be disabled. They don't have to have it, but for that bar environment, and, and you guys will see this when you do a demo with my team, very, very efficient. And that's the key is efficiency when they've got four deep, you know, wrapped around the bar and they're just cranking out drinks. They can't be hitting extra buttons. They need to be able to quickly start a tab or to close out a, t a ticket. So that that's really a, a key selling factor is that fast bar because you're not going to find that with other POS systems. Believe me, I've looked and we sell many different restaurant systems. None of them can do that. All right, well, let's jump back over to the My Paper Tech, and you go to the Hot Sauce Express sell sheet, which is really a lot about pizza, and you mentioned this earlier, how great delivery, takeout, catering. Um, for some reason, these hot sauce flyers just make me hungry when we put it in the picture, but the one POS to do it all, why is it so good for pizza, and uh, why are so many of our other systems not good at pizza? Well, what Hot Sauce did, they separated out, which I, I like that. Instead of just a floor plane where I'm ringing up a table, which is normal, or I'm starting a bar tab, they have a whole separate module just called their express module just for carryouts, to goes, dine-ins, deliveries. Um, we do a lot of our catering through that. And that actually tracks to the customer database where I can put in a phone number. And it's pulling up Nate Manahan and your number and how many times you've been there, as many notes as I want, how many kids you've got, any delivery notes. If you're doing a delivery, I can have delivery fees and charges, assign my drivers. But then it shows your history. You know, how long you've been there, how much money you spent, um, your previous order. For regulars, that's a big deal. 
Even when we're talking to mom and pop little diners, they love that because their regulars are ordering the same thing each time they call in and they might have 19 different modifiers, how they want to customize it because that's what regulars do. So I can reorder from their history right through the express. I can plan on future orders, which is why our catering companies love it. It's why pizza people like you call me right now and you're coming at five o'clock. I can ring it up right now. Track that with your phone number and name. Put it in for five o'clock and then I choose when that's going to print in the kitchen. I can have it automatically print maybe 30 minutes before you get here at 430. I can have it print right now. I can have it print an hour ahead of time. And so that's a huge advantage where we've seen other systems that can do that. Absolutely. They can do future orders. They can't automatically print to a kitchen. They can't decide when it prints to a kitchen. It's just there. And if their managers don't remember to go in that day and check, then they're going to have ticked off people walking in the door saying, where's my food? I ordered it two days ago. All right. So that's a big selling factor. And that's different than a lot of systems that they have. We don't have that with our other systems. Okay. Caller ID. We don't run into it too often, but it's great to have a POS as a caller ID. Pizza pops right up their name and their number when they call in. So yeah, that express is just a whole nother way to ring people up. And we do some hot sauce demos where that's all they need. So we're not looking at floor plan. We're not looking at fast bar. We're customizing that demo and just going through express for what they're going to see and how it can be customized for them. All right. A oh, couple yeah, more questions. No, that's good. So we've had a couple more questions. One, I let me pull up here. Um, is there somewhere to go play with it so we know more about the system? So one, I would go to mypapertech.com and I just shot off an email to our uh, UI uh, designer, Josh Brown, to put this link in, which you will get access to uh, just downloading some quick, if you just want to see some quick overviews of demos does not mean use this with your part still work with the pos lead team but these are just quick recorded demos driver routing hot sauce fast bar full service and we're going to put that link it's in a drive folder for demo videos we'll put that link in mypapertech.com so that should be in momentarily i would guess by the end of the day if it's not there wait for it or if you're really desperate you can email me at nmanahan at papertech.com and i'll share the drive folder with you but josh will be putting that up there momentarily and then all this stuff right here from the licensing overview to a web presentation that was redone last June to several new sell sheets on quick service and the table service. Um, for the table service, when that A920 is in, so let's go ahead and highlight, so because we're, we're not going to probably record it, and hopefully it'll be live in the weeks to come. Um, is there anything uh, that they should know? Is Because I just order the table and pay at the table. How does that work, and how is that different? Obviously, you mentioned the licensing fee being different, Matt, but what, is there anything else that we should know about that pay at the table and how Hot Sauce yes. does it? Yes. What's important for every single agent to know is it is not a POS station. And I make that very clear. It is not a point of sale station. No handheld is, whether it's toast, clover, whoever. Believe me, I, I know all those guys. It is meant for ordering and paying at the table. So when I say ordering station, okay, or or as a station, I mean you can go in and edit a check. I can go in and and do voids and comps and discounts and all that. None of that's done on the handheld. So that's very we want to make sure it's very clear to everyone. They still need to go to a regular station if they need the higher level things done, those manager functions done. But server 100% can sit right there, click on 19, and it shows up on the POS. They ring up the order to the bar, to the kitchen, hit send, and go through. It's time for them to pay. Absolutely, I can pull up that table, pull up their check. They can do different payments. But that's what it's meant for. And too many times we have agents confused thinking they're going to start bar tabs and they're going to do all these high level things from some little handout. So we want to make sure we're always transparent with you guys and are very clear with any handhelds, with any of our systems, they're meant for order and pay at the table. There's not enough data okay, and, and, and RAM and those little devices to be able to run a full blown point of sale. So as long as everyone's clear on that, then I'm good. We want to make sure that, that we're always transparent with you guys. So we're setting the expectations right for your merchants. We don't ever want to put them in a bad spot. Uh, it's always a good goal. Uh, AK asks, why do you like hot sauce legacy or obviously a Windows a software based system versus a cloud system, our modern fancy cloud <laughs> systems? 
Oh, AK Hall. You know what? I'm I'm biased. I'll just say it. I'm I'm old school and I'm biased because I spent almost 20 years running restaurants, bars, fine dining, you name it, from ownership to to every freaking department to then having consulting and opening my own restaurants. And I prefer a legacy software system because they're more reliable. Okay? There's a reason why fine dining steakhouse when I walk in the door, they're not having iPads and tablets. They have a software system. Now they might pay extra to have some handheld device that works with that software, but there's a reason they still have a software. All right. Because of the reliability factor of the hacking capabilities. Okay. We all remember target a few years ago and other things like that. Cloud systems aren't always the most protected. Okay. There's also connection issues. So if I was open any bar or restaurant, just like the last one I did a few years back, I bought Aloha okay? because I would not buy an iPad system that is, it's, I mean, it's really residential hardware. It's not commercial grade hardware, like what I would have in a bar or restaurant environment. Now, that being said, some merchants love it, guys. Some merchants are like, oh my God, I need a tablet or an iPad, or I've got these eight iPads. I have an old system. Absolutely. That's why we have systems that can run on iOS and iPads because there is that need out there. We want to make sure you guys have that available. So we have cloud systems as well as software like hot sauce. We've got some that are hybrid that are software, but you have cloud access. So, and in that case, hot sauce is not the best fit. If they say, no, 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 I have to sit at home and just add buttons left and right all day long and change things. Well, then we need to look at one of our other systems because that's really not what hot sauce is meant for. But that's a good question. Sorry, I'm biased towards <laughs> that traditional legacy systems. It's important in all of our lives to understand our biases. And, uh, you know, so sometimes <laughs> biases are there because it's just better. Uh, and the answer is all of them have capabilities and possibilities. But there is there is a reason you've never stepped foot in a steakhouse, a full service high end restaurant and seen them running Clover or seen them running Square or seen them running even some of our I don't name our own systems because I don't want to throw them under the bus. But the right. fact is they 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 like having something that is so stable, so there. And um, and then especially for bars and nightclubs, they need to burn those transactions fast. And when you're yeah. relying on the internet, let's be honest, like right now, you know, just before that, we always have to have backup. I have, I have backups to my backups to make sure my internet works and it still may fail us as we're streaming live on YouTube right now. <laughs> and uh, when you have those cloud-based <laughs> systems, you could be really up a crick really quickly yeah. and slow down. They need a bigger uh, screen and everything to be hardwired. Yep. That's so, smart way to do. Justin asked this. So, when Pay at the Table goes live, uh, how would someone order another device? It's, let's say they've already have hot sauce, they want to add it on. I think is the question there. So they are already jumping in and they're going in. Uh, and is what it, we mentioned earlier that the difference is this: the Pay at the Table is not part of the original station, so there'd be an additional price Correct. to that. Correct. So, and, and the upfront is a little lower. It's three ninety nine. Um, up front for the programming and uh, and for the device, and then it's thirty nine dollars a month. So we would do an add on contract and add that on um, to their monthly and it pay the upfront when they're available. When they're available, and that'll all go through myself and my office here. Those devices don't come from Hot Sauce; they're not the credit card people. Those devices come directly through my office, um, where they're they're wiped. They're clean with no programming, no pay anywhere programmed in, and then sent to the merchant where hot sauce can remotely load them. All right. So let's remember what we're talking. Spice it up. The hot sauce promotion is even spicier than it was just a couple months ago. Zero up front for three stations. We talked about what those stations are. Um, there's no volume or pricing minimums. It's just the first three stations. So all you have to do is have someone who hot sauce is correct for. That's why you still go through the POS pros team. Uh, we're, we're not looking for you to go put this in some veterinary clinic or try to place it at a dog store and pet store. Uh, though maybe, you know, it might be right for a pet bakery. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what's up. Right, right. No, no retail though. So, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're looking for all those things. Um, let me, uh, let's see. Awesome. Again, lots. I, I got to add a few of these, you know, when they give us a little bit of love. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Another great show. We appreciate that, Jeff. Yeah, so, Jeff. Um, and I'm reading. So, yeah, I, I, Justin puts that he's got someone that, he wants to, that hates Heartland because they can't make changes in the device easily. So that we appreciate that. Uh, that's why we're trying to working with the POS pros team. They're going to make sure they fix those needs that your merchants have. 
Uh, what else have I missed on hot sauce that you would want to highlight? Anything I've missed to ask you about, Matt? I mean, I, th- I think we've, I think we've hit just about everything. I mean, really the, the guarantees, the warranty, the support, you know, is, is such a big deal. Not only do you have all of the hot sauce team, you have, we have my entire team. We've got the entire paper tech family. Um, you know, that's really a big deal for you guys going um, through POSlead.com is having your own point of sale specialist. So you guys don't have to worry about knowing every little thing about these systems. Okay? Just know that we have plenty. And if it comes to a restaurant, guess what? I got five, a six one coming shortly. And so there's always a solution in that food and beverage world that we're going to be able to help you with. And you guys don't have to be the expert. You know, just, just, hey, I've got a whole point of sale team. Can we get them involved? I think we've got two or three systems that could be a great fit for you. You know, and don't don't cut your legs off. Don't sell a hot sauce when it's not the right fit. Okay, if you don't know if it's the right fit, you got to get us involved because that's what my team's for. That's why they've gone through much training. They know every one of our systems inside and out, especially hot sauce. And we want to make sure we're not putting the wrong system with that that merchant um, because we don't want them to be upset with you or try to cancel later. And then we're switching systems. We want to get it right from the beginning. So that's all. Just be, be cautious. Don't oversell it unless you know exactly what they need. Sometimes they don't tell you everything. A couple other questions while we're live here. I'll get these in. Um, I'll answer part of this. And if you want to jump in here, if they already have hot sauce, can they switch over? A lot of that depends on how they were working with hot sauce. First, with us, if you're setting up, they can't move and take our – this is hardware connected. We're paying for it. They can't move our hardware. Now, if they – had been with hot sauce some other time and they paid for it 100%, they would have to read and, cha- and create a change fee. Hot sauce is not making it easy for you to switch from switch processors, and they shouldn't because that's why you would go with us through or our competitors. Um, and so you can do that, but it's not a – to be honest, most likely, if you have someone who's already using hot sauce and they're not with us currently, I would use the placement program and work on that and be able to get the hardware in there they need. Uh, Matt, anything you would add to that? Yeah, well, let's talk about this, guys, because we do run into this quite often of someone that's already using a hot sauce. Um, that conversation starts right away with hot sauce because, like Nate said, they might not be able to move at all. Depending on their other processor, they've got their own contracts with hot sauce and they have other large ISOs, not as large as us, that do sell and they might not be able to get out of that contract. So that's the first part of that conversation. If I get a green light from hot sauce, that yes, absolutely, they're allowed to switch. There is a TID change fee. Um, right now the hot sauce is 395 and yes, they absolutely need, need new EMV terminals, which we would place that order for you. So you guys don't have to worry about, which by the way, you guys never need to order the EMV terminals of hot sauce. Right? That's part of what we do is all the paperwork as well as ordering terminals. The only thing you have to do is set up an EPX direct MID through hot sauce. But, but yes, there is a process to a TID change. We just have to make sure they can do it first. Then we send out the paperwork. They're signing based on hardware they already have. If we need new hardware, absolutely, we can help with that. And that has the EMV terminals on there as well as that TID change of 395. And what I would do if you have that situation, just go to poslead.com, put all your information in and put that in the notes section. And uh, and that would be a great way to get start that process and just see what the op- options are and opportunities are. Um, does hot sauce, we didn't really talk about installation. Does hot sauce install the POS? What does a hot sauce installation look like, Matt? They do. It's actually our, our only POS, um, especially after COVID, that still hires a local IT company to come out on the day of installation to make sure that they're there on the phone of hot sauce for as many hours as it takes. They're not there to run the lines. We make that very clear. All the lines need to be in place, but they're there to actually plug everything in, make sure the EMV terminals are working, the kitchen printers are working, move those heavy boxes around so that you as the agent don't have to. Now we encourage you to be involved, at least, you know, be there because the more you learn, the better you're going to be at this, you know, moving forward. We have some agents that do the hot sauce installation themselves. If you do that, hot sauce will pay you. And it's it's not a lot. It's between, I don't know, 175, 200 something, depending on um, the area and the setup. But we have a lot of agents that take advantage of that. They know they're going to be there at the merchant. They're going to be hands on. And we just need to know from the beginning. So we let hot sauce know agent will be installed. They'll reach out to you and connect to you and schedule all that. So everything is done remotely. They can remotely log in. They're on the phone with the merchant. They schedule menu review. They schedule training. 
our implementations team there does a really good job. Erica and Savannah reach out right away to start that conversation with the merchant. That way they can plan ahead as their hardware is arriving. Good All question. Right. I'm going to make this the last question live because Gilbert, I love you. I love this question because I, this is question just makes me happy. Harbor touch versus hot sauce. Let's go right at it. Let's be <laughs> honest. I'm going to put my answer. I'll let Matt add to it. Hey, hot sauce is everything Harbor touch is. And in some places it's better. And this is what we're competing. It's why we put the program together. We have, we believe there's an opportunity in the market. We want to be there for it. And Matt, I'll let you follow up anything you would add. Hot sauce is just more reliable. I mean, Harbor Touch has done a good job over the years of adding things, but in my personal opinion, they stretch themselves just way too thin with all these crazy different things they've added in cloud cloud features. And some of them work, some of them don't work. I've talked to all types of merchants with Harbor Touch. Um, there's too many extra steps. We switched so many people off Harbor Touch. You know, it didn't do bar tabs very well. It was three extra steps to try to split up an item, or or in one case, it wasn't. Uh, um, update in their system. They couldn't even split at the item level. You know, little things like that where all that's already in place. It's a much more well-established, well-oiled machine with hot sauce that's been doing this for plus 20 years compared to the Harbor Touch model and the customer service and how bad it can be and locking their merchants in these contracts and then renewing these contracts without them knowing. Um, that's why we switched so many of these but they, people love hot sauce because it, this, the pricing is similar. I, I know Harbor Touch promotes is like 39 or whatever, but you're still paying that extra 30 for support. And it, it almost always ends up coming to $69. And they've got quarterly fees that the merchant usually doesn't know about. And they hit them with quarterly fees. So they just nickel and dime them left and right. But as far as the, the actual software, hot sauce, in my opinion, is just more robust and more reliable. Perfect. Well, as we close out, I would encourage you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the fastest way to get any of this content, whether we do it uh, pre-recorded and put it out here, or we are doing it live like we are today, and we will be live next, uh, mostly Thursdays. We'll try to, we'll give you email updates, so make sure you're looking for our emails, uh, what our topics are going to be, because Matt and I haven't even talked about what POS and Censored is for next week. We may get a little more spicy. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, and We'll meet at the we, bar and figure it out, what we're <laughs> going to do. That's it. So, but please subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you get in the alerts. Thank you for all those who have watched live. Thanks for those who are watching afterwards. If you have questions, you can reach out always to partners at papertech.com and you can reach out to POS sales at paymentsub.com. Either of those are great places and answers. I always encourage you to start with partners and then they'll help get the POS team in when we have questions that are specific. But a lot of that, we can just triage through your relationship managers and partners at papertech.com. Thank you so much for being part. I'm playing the Florida State fight song. I don't know why. I just found her Brian Lee in the background i don't even and know I'm here, but, so but on that thank you matt proctor we'll see you next week thanks for everyone we'll talk to you now thanks buddy